My name is Duncan Woff. I'm the head of rail IT for First Group. First Group are a uh, global transport organisation. They run buses and trains across both the North America, the United States, Mexico and Canada, and also trains and buses in the United Kingdom. We carry around about two billion passengers a year. So one of the key things that we noticed we could do with AWS that we'd been unable to do previously is associated with our OTMR, on-train monitoring recording of black box data. This data was being sent back to a server uh, within our estate and every month we had to delete all the data because we just couldn't store it all. We've moved all that into a data pipeline. So one of our key benefits has indeed been the speed with which we can deploy new ideas and new innovation, especially around data analytics and this is primarily around the real-time ingestion of data and the visualisation of it, but also therefore the analytics on that data, which previously we'd never even thought we could do. We now take all that data and we push it all into an Amazon Redshift environment. We then are running various tools against that, be it QuickSight, AWS QuickSight, and also uh, Power BI and potentially Tableau, to actually enable us to actually do much greater analysis now as to where our problems may be occurring in the network. We're testing the stage maker capability. We're very much, at the moment, building a business rules engine. Our hope and aim is that we can then identify when a train has stopped and they can see quicker that a train has actually stopped, mean that the next train coming out will automatically be late. And if so, can we therefore do various movements with either crew or with our trains to ensure that the train service carries on running even if there's minor perturbation going. There are a large number of delays in the rail industry and we believe that by actually using this type of technology, we can start reducing the nose number of delays and improving therefore the service our customers get. Another key benefit of using AWS has been the introduction of uh, resilience and the ability for us to roll innovation out very quickly at a production scale without having to concentrate too much on the infrastructure services but instead concentrate on the data and how we use that data which is where our focus is. I would state that the most obvious similarity between AWS and First Group is the focus on the customer experience and I believe that is where we are more closely aligned in terms of what we try and achieve.